Welcome to another live edition of Hotshot Secret Dual Streaming, YouTube and Facebook. Kyle Fisher here with the big return of Big Country. Nice big, to see everybody. Big Country is in the house today. So, uh, as always, be sure to like and share the video. Click the little bell to uh, get your reminders when we go live. And start posting your questions now. Like, like we say, we like to do this so uh, we can get questions from you guys that you have. We can try to answer them. Unfortunately, no tribologist on set today. Yeah. But we'll do our best. Yeah, we can do it. We got this covered, so, so we're good. So follow us on our Instagram and YouTube as well. Uh, what's going on in today's video? So on today's video, we're going to answer your questions as always. So make sure you post them below. We will recap what's going on here at Hot Shot Secret, as well as talk about Apex and SEMA, which a lot of the guys were at last week. Uh, we'll be giving away some Diesel Winter Anti-Gel. And we'll be actually speaking about Diesel Winter Anti-Gel for anybody who did not see it. YouTube Project Farm, who he had taken our, our Diesel Winter Anti-Gel and he had went against Power Service Diesel Fuel Supplements, Power Service 911, House Diesel Treat, Standard Dime Performance Formula, and Amsoil Two Stroke Oil to see who would be the best. And ours came out as the best. No kid? Yeah, yeah. So uh, some people might be surprised, but we're I'm not. We're not surprised around here. I'm not. Let's see. So uh, if you don't watch it live, be sure to comment, ask your questions at uh, what we call our our syndicated version, because yes. uh, we know a lot of people are working right now, and we will pick some winners from our syndicated and announce some some then. So. I don't know if we have one. Do we have one from last week, Levi? I'm not sure. All right, we'll check on that. And we have a big announcement, speaking of Levi. Yeah, congratulations, Levi, on 10-year anniversary with LSI. 10 years. You want to come up and get in front of the camera and take a <laughs> bow? No, I know you don't. Levi does such a great job for us, and he's always behind the camera, as you guys know. But 10 years is a long time here. And Absolutely. And he's always, I swear he's one of our youngest employees, so it's funny that he's got the uh, seniority here. I saw him and Chris came in last night, and they were, I guess you guys went out to dinner, they were telling stories of the good old days, and back when Chris was in the full born and everything, so. And we figured it out last night, you are officially employee number, number one. So uh, it's really cool to see how much this company's grown, and the things we're doing now, and hearing some of the stories these guys were talking about, back in the day when Chris was out on the road trying to sell lubricants and um, uh, I did hear a funny story about the actual interview hire date when Levi kind of stumbled in and was <laughs> like, I guess I'm gonna do a flyer or something. And right. So here he is 10 years later, um, still kicking butt for us. So uh, congrats to Levi, employee number one, making it 10 years here and, and, and that's really cool. Subscribe to our e email newsletter we've mentioned and bundles are back for winter. Yeah, the five pack of Diesel Winter Anti Gel Imagine is that. now back. Good, good time for that. We got mm -hmm. cold here. We got snow outside. I don't know how many of you out there got snow, but Ohio finally got it. So winter has arrived. It was kind of weird this year because normally we get like a dusting before it all happens, but then we just got dumped on with four inches, and it was like, where in the world did it come from? Right. So, yeah, absolutely. So let's do some dealer shout outs. Dealer shout outs. New, sh new shout outs will be Rupert's Diesel Performance in Shippensburg, PA. Corn Fed, Fed Trucking. Trucking. That's yeah. a good name. I like that. Corn in Fed Ant Trucking in, in Antwerp, Antwerp, Ohio. Ohio. Antwerp? Antwerp? I don't know how you would exactly say They're it. They're in Ohio, but they got a good name. Corn Fed Trucking. Hassler Diesel Performance out of Bethel, PA. Bain Auto in Wingate, Indiana. And Tim's Diesel in Somerset, PA. Yep. You got a few more you want to I got out? a couple more. Oh. Um, competitive Diesel out of Nitwa, Colorado. Redneck Hauling out of Turner, Oregon, Grizzly Diesel out of Helena, Montana, and JT&A America in Tustin, California. So welcome aboard, and if you are a dealer already, thank you so much for carrying our products and telling more people about them. And you know, I, we we have dealers that have been with us for darn near 10 years as long as, as Levi. I remember we yeah. just ran into a couple yesterday, we were looking at the account, and I was trying to go back in the order history and it like went back to like 2010 I was like wow so thanks to all our dealers that have been with us before pretty much anybody knew about us yeah absolutely and that's one of the cool things 
that we have a guy from Arizona who every time he stops in because he does hot shotting over the road, he will talk about the first time that he ever met Chris was right. Tell the story. Up. Yeah. So he had he had stopped by the Shell station that is like right over across the seventy one from us. And, and this is was, when Chris was yeah, just trying to get the he was product just going, trying to get it going. And the the guy said he was filling up, and this tall skinny dude walks up to him and says, "Hey, have you tried any of these products?" And he's like, "No, oh, who are you?" So <laughs> he said he tried them. He's been hooked. So anytime he comes over here from Arizona, he loves it. And leave with it. So the myth is true. Back in the day, Chris used to stock gas pumps. <laughs> he was the windshield wiper guy. They'd be like, <laughs> he would take some bottle station. So. It's cool how far we've come. So appreciate all our dealers that have been with us for a long time. And we're about to start something new. We are. We are. So as you guys know, we got this new set here. We're doing a lot of new video content, educational content. Uh, we're filming our, our this, this show in it. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of that as it comes out. And we have this beautiful garage door next to us that has just way too much white on it. So we figured, and this is kind of right in front of where our lift is and where a lot of the work's going to be done. So it's pretty much the backdrop to a lot of our videos here. Absolutely. So what we wanted to do is give a little extra shout out to um, our dealers, our partners, uh, people we work with, and uh, give them some love on the board. So yep. what we're going to do is we first want to ask all of our dealers out there, send us a decal. We're going to we're going to add your decals to our wall here. So therefore, in the future, when we're doing these these educational videos and everything, you'll get a little love up on our garage door, kind of like a... I know I've got a wall in my garage that's yeah. full of any decal I can find. So, um, well, this way our wall here will be, our garage door here will be posted with all of your guys' logos. So you get in our videos and give you guys some love and let you know what it is. So let's put some up. Let's do it. So we're going to inaugurate the wall with our first ones. We're going to start with Power Stroke Ingenuity. Out of Houston, Texas. Out of Dorian Houston. Dorian Raina down there. So Levi can do the honors. We got plenty of space too, so dealers, remember, send us a uh, send us a couple of your decals, and uh, we'll get them up here on our wall. And who's next here? How about Rudy's Performance out of North Carolina? Oh, you're getting slick with the angles yeah, now, yeah, huh? Yeah, we're gonna, gonna make it look good. Oh, well, this one's not cooperating. Oh, there we go. I don't know if the diesel's going to show up in the white, but... Yeah, we'll see. Up next, our local friends, Miss, Mr. Mister Millers, the, all of them, yeah. at uh, the, Firepunk Diesel, of course. The Hobbit Mechanics. The Hobbit Mechanics. You can do it, TJ. Don't take up most of the show. Just <laughs> Might get one of their bright pink ones. Yeah. <laughs> so as we said, we're going to be doing a lot of video content in front of the, the garage here. So to all our dealers out there, if you want to get on our wall, uh, shoot us up a decal. We'll put you up there and happy to support you guys. We appreciate the support you give us. And I think it's just a cool way to... To, to pay back and let you guys uh, know that you're all part of the uh, Hot Shots family here as well. There you go. You're getting it. No, I can get it. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah, the white. Yeah, we'll show. have to peel the white. Right, we'll get we'll get that from them. I wouldn't even worry about the white. I don't want to. And moving on. Go ahead. All right. So that's some extra shout outs to our dealers. Power Stroke Ingenuities, Firepunk Diesel, 
Uh, Rudy's performance down in North Carolina. Thank you guys for being part of the family. And now you're fishing on the wall. There you go. <laughs> Looks better now. Yep. And we'll fill that wall up. So send them out to us, guys, and uh, you'll be part of our videos in the future. So, TV this weekend. we got a big thing coming. We do. I, I, I just actually caught this today about what was going on. But we have a uh, Truck Tech premiere where they're actually going to put our... This is the History Channel. Yeah, on the History Channel, they will actually be putting our Diesel Extreme FR3 and our Blue Diamond ATF transmission fluid in the truck and trying to see on the dyno. As many in the diesel motorsports industry, we know the dyno don't lie. So that's, you, you, you can talk up your stuff all you want. That was one of the big things with Firepunk. They wanted to test it on the dyno, get mm -hmm. real world results. So that will be happening this Saturday at one, or at 8 a.m. on Sunday, sorry. Yeah. And then on Saturday at 1 p.m., Truck U on Motor Trend, they'll be talking about our EDT. Right. And, and I'll, I'll put a, a, a caveat to that. Uh, with the Truck Tech guys on the History Channel, uh, when we were, we were talking about them, about you know doing some TV time with them, we, we'd asked them. They'd done a nice dyno for us last year as well, and they did a road test, a mile per gallon road test too. And, you know... We do spend a good amount of money uh, on our TV programs, and I remember when we were talking with them, they kind of said, well, what, do you, what would you guys like to see? And I said, we'd love to see a, a real-world dyno done. And I will never forget how many times they kind of came back and were like, are you sure you want to do this? Because they were telling us, like, we won't fudge the numbers. You know, they're like, we, we're, we're an honest show, so, you know, if you make this investment, we're going to show what it does, you know? And I'm like, no, we're good. Let's do it. Run it. Send it. You know. And they came back like four or five times. Like, are you sure? Because you're gonna buy this TV time. Right. And what the dino shows, the dino shows. And and then finally, once we you know made it clear, like, no, send it. We'll do it. He he had, he had shared with me that you know a lot of times companies are like, can you do something and put the finger on the scale a little bit? And kudos to Truck Tech for being a type of program Absolutely. that really honestly tests products straight up and. Um, they were excited that we were going to fall through with it and do it. So, so tune in this Sunday at a.m. It's a, it's a fresh, brand new premiere of it. We're not going to tell you what happened. Right. Yeah. We know what happened, but we did. We put diesel extreme in the fuel. We put FR3 in the oil, and we also changed out the transmission fluid um, uh, with our Blue Diamond Heavy Duty Severe Duty transmission fluid. And they did before, after on the dyno, and you're going to see what happens. So tune in and watch that, and maybe we'll recap it next week as well. Yeah, absolutely. And like we said, on Saturday, over our friends on Motor Trend and Truck U, we got a tech tip on EDT as well. So check that out uh, Saturday afternoon at 1. I'm looking forward to it. I am too. So, so what's going on in R&D? Right now in R&D, just so everybody is aware, they are working on a new 10W30 diesel oil. Yep. Everybody's been waiting for it. Yeah, a lot of people since Ford came out and they said that they wanted a 1030 oil. Hey, we're we're gonna we're gonna make those demands happen. So and we see a lot of manufacturers switching absolutely. to 30 weight now. So yeah, so we're we we're getting them taken care of. So yep. also we're gonna be coming out with two Euro Blend oils. Ooh. So for all you <laughs> Levi's excited. Volkswagen guys and Saab guys, this is gonna be the Euro spec. It's it's, yeah. it's actually gonna be what's interesting. It's gonna meet the uh, SN standard too, so for you actually meet gas spec, you know, uh, for an oil. But it's just, the the Euro blends have a really they're really stringent on on their standards and everything. So uh, we've we've had a lot of feedback from the VW, the, the BMW, that whole community right. um, about about having a, a specific oil for, that meets their needs, and uh, we got it, and it's coming, and we're having two different blends. Right, I forget what they are, but. If I'm not mistaken, one's 530, and another one is, I don't, I don't know if it's 1030 or if it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure one's five, the 530. Yeah, I know the one's 530. But it's 530. the two most common that you guys have, and it meets all the Euro specs. Uh, it's going to be an awesome oil. I know they're really excited about it in R&D. So. And I know we've been getting asked about it forever. Yeah, I just had Eric Villa from Diesel Garage ask me yesterday um, if we were coming he's out. He's a Volkswagen guy. Yeah, he's a Volkswagen guy. So he is... He's been hooked ever since we went out to Arizona for an HRDA. Right. And turned him on from another product, and yeah. now he wants our oil. And, you know, our friend Trey Sykes is, right. you know, he knows all the Euro stuff, and um, we've got our own BMW here, you know. So uh, we're really excited to, to get more into that market. And, uh, and that came from you guys. It came from 
you guys bring in that, that issue to us saying that we need it we need a better solution for it uh, on a side note just uh, this is an R&D as well uh, part of the uh, Chevy Cruise world we just heard from uh, our buddy Jerry Atkins one of our sponsored okay. drivers the Chevy Cruise are having transmission problems mm. and I guess the forums are finding out that um, our, our TSE our transmission station eliminator is really working well for them so we're taking that into the lab and we might have to reformulate a little bit. Right now we really kind of tackled the big trucks with it and everything. So it might be a new reformulation of it. It might just be a smaller dose, a smaller bottle of it that right. we do. So we're gonna test that and hopefully have a product out for you. We can probably turn that one around pretty quickly too. So we really encourage you guys, when you have issues, problems, uh, any lubrication type of stuff, we're probably the only company that is at that sweet size where we're not too big to not care. And we're not too small to not be able to get the right. job done. We love, this is what really uh, allows us to expand our product line and have very specific, problem-specific solutions, you know, uh, uh, made for you guys. So we're looking forward to that. So we got the new 10W30 diesel oil. Right. We got the two Euro blends coming. Correct. And then we got something else. We got new transfluid that is, Another being, trans that is that's being worked on as we speak, as well as researching greases as greases well. A lot of people too. have been asking about greases. Yeah. So... Yep. Yeah, we're getting into the grease. Big things happening in R&D. So, Kyle, you were at Apex SEMA. I was. You go ahead and give us an update of how it was. I heard well, you guys had just got back. It says it was a great show. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, long days, we are all still very tired from it. This is factual here. <laughs> so, we're still trying to catch up here. Of course, it is long days there. We we had a great time. We, we you know, and, and I, we've shown the Apex side of it. And a lot of times on, on the Apex side, we kind of dual show our booth. It's half LSI, it's half Hotshot Secret, and we get a lot of LSI business out there, a lot of business partnerships, kind of like what we're talking about with the consumers, the problems right. they have with their vehicles. Well, businesses have big lubrication problems, and we do a lot of partnerships on, on that side. Um, a lot of times it's under the label of LSI, but we're all working out of the same right. lab here. You know, Like we like to say, Hotshot Secret is, is our in-house brand that shows what LSI can, can do, do for other companies. Absolutely. So it's uh, the LSI part of our company is really the system behind everything. Um, Hot Chat Secret is the proof of concept, but if your company, if your organization is having a lubrication issue like that, or if you're looking to do private labeling, um, any type of, uh, anything along the line from research and development all the way through product formulation to private labeling and all that stuff, We've got you covered, and we, we found a lot of new business out there. So uh, I know Chris heads off a lot of that, and his plate was already full, and now it's extra full. So right. he's gonna have, we have a lot of follow-up from the show. So thanks to everybody out there in Vegas that came out to see us. Um, we, had a, we had a good time, and we also uh, spent some time over at the SEMA side this year as well, visiting some of our dealers, prospecting for some new dealers. We got some new guys on board, and we're, we're, we're happy to have that. And Always looking for uh, new new areas to, you know, find new opportunities. Right. And Apex Team is just, you can't beat it. The only problem with it is it's just... So big. It's so big. Yeah. It's so big, and you can't get to everybody, and everybody can't get to you, but um, it's it's definitely a good experience for the company. So we did, I think, we did do a live video. You did. It was and tough. You, you guys showed us the new RV line of products. And everybody started asking about the RV line of products. So, yes, we did display the RV line of products out there as long as well as uh, we had the LX4 on display and uh, a couple of the new spray greases, too. So okay. uh, a lot of people are asking questions about that. Are all of those completely market ready? Almost. They're almost there. But that's sometimes what we do at Apex and SEMA is kind of give you a little behind the curtains peek at what's right up next so two weeks and it's Levi. it's right up next yeah what do you say Levi two, two weeks, weeks. <laughs> two weeks so we're right about there so uh want to get in some questions before we dig in yeah let's go all right let's see here Matty Rice is in what's up Matt DNR Auto in the house Michelle Shane is always the first one in uh hey guys hope we're all well Chad Myers Chad Myers we were just talking about you I saw you had a video up uh Chad Myers is doing a little test right now of our diesel winter NHL. Okay. So we're going to see how it turns out. Like, I think he's going to have a follow-up video to show the results. Hello, Raina. She's out there. Jared Rudolph. The Rudolph Bros team is here. Good to see the Rudolph brothers in the house. The, you know, on that side of the camera this right, time. So exactly. maybe we'll get them back in another time. We're getting those guys addicted to this stuff. 
Brian Sheck is watching. Brian, you, you just landed in Germany, if I'm not mistaken. So, from the other side, he still tunes in. I wonder what time it is in Germany right now. No clue. But he didn't miss it, so he figured that out. Brian Noon, with that top fan badge, glossing proudly, says, What benefits does Stiction Eliminator have for a Cummins 5.9? I hear people say Cummins do not have Stiction, which I don't entirely agree with them. Take that one, TJ. Absolutely. Any vehicle that has oil that's being burnt and then cooled down, pretty much bringing it up to an operating temperature and brought back down. A lot of times with the Cummins, they have blow-by, and people don't may not understand totally that by blow-by, there is, as Kyle likes to say, a squeegee <laughs> that is constantly going up and down. And whenever that begins to get, um, how can you say it, build up with all that carbon build up, it will no longer squeegee like it should. So when the air is coming in and you have this mixture and you get the blow by, the stiction eliminator actually will puff that back up to the point that the, the squeegee works exactly the way it should again. So, I mean, it, it's, it's good for any truck. Turbo bearings that might be getting gummed up, stiction eliminator will clean it out. Yeah, I mean, there is not a, uh, there's not a motor that stiction eliminator is not good right. for. So... We often, it, it's very well known for the 6.0s and the 7.3s. And that's specifically because the Huey injector is so unique, you got to clean it on the oil side. But you take that injector out in any other application, gas, diesel, your small engines, lawnmowers, I mean, you name it. If it's an engine that gets up to temperature, you are going to have burnt varnish in the motor. Yeah. Simple as that. Show me one motor that you can open up that looks brand new unless it's using stiction eliminator. Right. Um, that, that doesn't have a, a dark buildup of varnish in there. And what Stiction Lemon does, it gets in there, cleans all that up, lubricates at the same time, protects it, reduces your wear by 62%. 2%, right. So not only are we cleaning the motor, we're lubricating it and extending the life of it quite a bit. And It's a lot more safer than using some brand of products on the shelves. That are like They're harsh. harmful. Yeah, sure. yeah, where you got to put it in Chemical 15, yeah. And, 15 minutes later, you got to dump it right back sure. out. It, this is definitely, and we talked about this yesterday, it, as the longer you keep it in, the better it actually is cleaning inside of the engine. Yeah, we're so. one of the only products that you actually, we, we tell you, you put it in with fresh oil at the very beginning. Right. And it, it's made strictly of group four, group five esters, like really right. high-end stuff. So you can put it in any oil. That's another question we get all the time. Any right. oil you put it in, it's just going to only make it better. Right. So there's there's not an oil on earth that's better than, than the group four, group five esters that are in there. So... Um, and at the very least, if you've got a newer motor and you want to protect it, that may not have a lot of varnish buildup. That's kind of like what, what TJ was saying earlier with with your cylinders and your rings. Over time, you're not going to get as cl clean and squeegee right. on your cylinders there. And oftentimes, it's the rings on on the pistons that get a little stuck in. And sticks and will get in there and free up those rings to, so they can press back out and give you a nice compression on the walls. And then... That's why I always say we're not inventing power, but we're right. restoring. restoring. Right. So I mean that blow by that you're getting, we get those rings to seat better on your cylinders, and you'll get power back from it. So, um, so yes, for a five nine Cummins, absolutely, it's a great product for it. USMC Racing, hey from Germany, I thought so. Hey Brian, thanks for tuning in. Brian, let us know what time it is over there. I'm, I'm really interested. <coughs> uh, Michelle Shane says Hot Shots makes only the best. You're correct with that top fan badge. Chad Meyer says, audio is bad, Levi. Are we better, guys? Let me know. Miss you, Kyle. Such a stud. Well, thanks, Brian. <laughs> Come see me when you're back on this side of the States. Brian Fennel's in, our other friend from USMC Racing. Morning, Brian. I wonder if you're over in Germany, too. There's too much beautiful going on in front of the camera today. Damn. There oh we go. Goodness. James Bruce, <laughs> top fan badge. Cowboy Thor. Volume is a little soft, they're telling me, TJ, Levi. Okay, you got it? Oh, okay. He's good. Here. He's <laughs> new. <laughs> Ten years. Ten he's years, it out. yeah. Uh, make sure you guys talk with Adam Eli from Hardlock Automotive Services. Yeah, I remember you guys had him on. I sent him a message. Um, tell him to reach out, out to me. I know he does really good stuff, and we wanted to partner with him on that. So, Michelle Shane was replying saying, we'll help clean out the inside of a motor and help to improve performance in MPG. Used it in my 6.7 Cummings, and it made Cummins, and it made a difference. I know. Cummings. Quieted it down as well. <laughs> so, there we go. There's a there's your proof out there in the field. 
So my truck hasn't rained for the last three days for more than a minute. The conclusion has been that I have a failing injector and it's sending a low rail pressure reading to the ECM, shutting it off after about a minute of runtime. This is Colton Henniger. What kind of truck? What kind of truck you got, Colton? Let us know that. Um, but let me think here. Doesn't if he's got a failing injector, obviously if it's a six hour seventh it's fuel injector, we want to get some stiction in there to try to clean that out. Uh, any other injector, but also you still want to get diesel extreme to clean the fuel side out. Right. Uh, Colton, let us know what kind of truck you got and we'll look into it. If you have a failing injector, the best thing we can do for it, is, you know, on the fuel side is, is a diesel extreme, a heavy dose of it. Run the whole tank through as long as you can keep that um, keep it running. Obviously, I know the ECM is going to be cutting it off. Um, if the low, low it's an 03 pressure. Cummins 5.9. So, oh, yeah. Well, then, then diesel extreme. Yep. Yeah, the best you can do is diesel extreme. I wonder how many miles you got on it. It might be beyond saving, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But there's a good chance you could have uh, just some cleaning needed in there. I wonder if you've tried to clean it before. So, Colton, we recommend Diesel Extreme. Get back to us. Let, let, let us know if that helped at all. Even if you have to keep cycling on it and playing that game with the ECM, uh, because you really want to get that, and especially as, as fuel heats too. You really want to get that Diesel Extreme running through. So, even if you have to sit there and idle it and, and keep turning it on every minute, try to get that Diesel. It, it, diesel Extreme actually starts working pretty quickly. Like, yeah, it it fuses with the fuel like right whenever it hits. So right. I mean that it's. That's one but of those the products. The longer we can run it through the injectors, right. the better cleaning you're right. going to have. Um, so keep us posted, uh, Colton. Dan Yos is watching. What's up, Dan? By Sheen Burks is hello. Well, hello, By Sheen. That's a new name. Troy Kennedy's in the house. Okay, we got the audio thing going. James Bruce from a barn to now Chris is the leader of a, of the Live It Right Day and Night Club. Magical oh unicorn. God. Lou Beard Sauce is my favorite. Oh, my goodness. You got it, James. <laughs> my garage fridge is covered in stickers, and then I have a badass banner from Hot Shots Secret hanging up, too, thanks to my man, Kyle. Well, congrats. I love that you finally got it and got it hanging. Sean's here. Jerry's here. Jerry just mentioned you. And Sean actually called in this morning, so we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, we'll talk about right. Winner and I, Joe. So. Oh, yeah, so we're really behind here. Yes. Yeah. I see it. I, Comment here. It's his first time with vinyl decals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I noticed you didn't even pull the grease part off. I wasn't gonna call you out. Well, I, I, it, I wanted, I wanted to see if that one's gonna stick, and then I can slowly pull oh, it off. Yeah, okay, okay. Because that firepunk one looks. Uh, what's bad. up, Jerry? Artie Muppin says hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Troy Kennedy says I've got a new customer with a Ford, 4R70W transmission. It's a Mustang Expedition Trans. That will be a new rebuild. Which fluid do we order? Brett and still Kyle Fisher will understand. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't understand Troy Kennedy at the time, so I, I understood <laughs> you that time. Um, I am going to guess that would be Type F. Yeah, Type F. So uh, you would you'd want to look at the severe the severe the Blue Diamond Severe Duty uh, TFC four uh, would be what you go with for that. If you want, you can send me the oh we get the transmission there. We'll, we'll double check the transmission spec, but I'm going to say 99% it's going to be the Type F. VW Kevin Adams is watching. So we do have a a lubrication expert. He's just yeah, calling well, he in could, from home today. Yeah. Yep. How are you doing, Kevin? Hope you're enjoying your day off. David Douthat's in there. He's uh, one of our guys. Uh, he'll be out at uh, PRI with us. He, he, he rides jet cars. So he's asking us that specific for cars. I'm guessing he's asking about the VW. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, it's for all the the Euro applications, right? So, how's the blue flanker coming along in R and D? Here, there's a huge market for it. There, <laughs> there's a lot of people that do look for it. <laughs> all right, Moppin, did you just write a SEMA or a welding machine article? Interesting. Waiting on the grease results. Can't wait. Yeah, uh, I think we have some of the results in on the. Uh, what's the fifth wheel ball hitch thing? I think I heard something about that, but I can't. I can't say anything yet. Oh, the, the not the spray greases, but there's the, the grease for the bulge. I have no clue. We'll see. 
My mother's watching. Yeah, she loves you, Kyle. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> I love you too. Scott McKinley's in. Scott and Max from BMR. They're the BMR racing guys. So, uh, looking forward to... I know their engine went back down to Tennessee um, to get some work done. We're going to be back in 2020. We're sticking with those guys at BMR and Summit Racing and can't wait to get that, uh, that endurance car going. It's really cool. So, glad to see you guys out there, Scott. Is Stixon Eliminator a detergent or solvent? Asked Titus Martin. Tell him. What's well, a detergent, right? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so we don't have any harsh solvents in there. No, no. It's a detergent package in there, but um, it's really cleaning through the esters. It's really a high, high, right. uh, an ester that does the cleaning. So no, no solvent uh, in that package. Uh, everyone's saying audio is good now, so we're late to the party. Yeah. Colton and Henninger's has 346,000 miles on it. Oh, yeah. Well, what might be the it, end of that injector, well, buddy? It, well, it dep yeah, probably. Uh, it's unless, worth unless he, if they just replaced some and they didn't replace that one or something, right. that, yeah, that would definitely And, and I'll tell you this. We have a money-back guarantee, no questions asked, and this is why right. we do it, Colton. We want you to try Diesel Extreme. We want to see if we can save that injector. If we can... All good. You're going to be a happy man that, you know, a, a cheap bottle of product saved a very expensive injector. If you can't, we will refund your money. Because if you've got a mechanical problem and you need new injectors, we want well, you to have your diesel extreme money back to pay for those injectors. And that's why we do it. It's not necessarily a thing of like, oh, it's money back guarantee for the guys because if the product doesn't work. It's not for that. It's if, it, if the application wasn't right there, you have a mechanical problem. We don't want it to keep your money. Yeah, and well, and Jerry Adkins says something too. He says could be a CP3 or lift pump issue. A data log would help, and it would. Mm. It would would be able to tell us what exactly is going on. I and I mean he could. I mean I don't know if he has a tuner on it or anything. I mean it, there's many multiples that could happen. But yeah, the Diesel Extreme. Try it. Don't doesn't work. We'll give your money back. No Absolutely. problem. Absolutely. Thanks for that chiming in there, Jerry too. Dylan Kicks is ready for PRI. Yeah, we are too. That's next up for us, so a few weeks away now. Sean, the Bearded Menix says, what do y'all think of the 6.4 liter 2008 looking for a business truck? Unknown mileage at this point. Truck looks, outside looks solid. More wondering if you guys don't have tough as a 6.4. I don't have any problem with them. I don't have any problem with them. As long as you take care of them, they're fine. Some people don't like 6.4s, but as long as you take care of any truck, it's going to be yeah, a, Especially a diesel. There's, yeah. There's really not a bad diesel motor out there. I mean, obviously, people are really, you know, you got your Cummins guys and you right. got your Power Stroke guys and everything. We see them all. Right. And and if you look at them really unbiasedly, there's not a really bad diesel motor out there. I mean, some people like to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a bad diesel motor out there, but there's some that are questionable on engineering of how they thought about it. Is, I, will, is, I will, okay, I'll is, agree with that. And I think that's where most people... Or have that dilemma of the Duramax Cummins or a Power Stroke. Right. So. Yeah, so, John, we don't have a problem with 6.4. And you know if you find a, a good running one, uh, we can give it the battery of out-of-the-gate sticks and eliminator diesel extreme. Let's get it all cleaned out and running good. So That big motorhome is a Mercedes motor in it, David says. That. I think that's the big thing he tows around his jet cars with. Uh, with that, that might actually be more on the heavy duty side, though. Right? Yeah, I would think that the the Mercedes side of that would. Well, it might take ten thirty actually. He, David, needs... David, let, send me a message. Let me know what kind of motor that is. Uh, yeah. We'll let you, we'll let you know. I think the. I I did say it's good for trucks too. What I meant by trucks is kind of like I know there's a lot of VW and Beamer uh, uh, SUVs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We're still talking about the small motors, not the big hogs. That right. Are pulling. Right. Um, but very well. If it's the right weight, I don't see why it couldn't, uh, you know, you know, be a good substitute for it. So right. let us know, David. Andy Shanks out there. Kyle, looking for a cat safe, high performance street engine oil in 530, 1030. Well, our new, our new Euro blends are going to be Will cat be. safe. Yep. Yep. So they're, uh, and what are they called? The, uh, I'm going to forget now. Oh, what's the what's the special about the Eurospec? The uh, I'm free. See, what's that? Yeah, I know. Trey will say it in heartbeat. 
But yeah, Andy, I think we wait for these Euro specs to come out, and I think uh, they're going to be exactly what you need. We hear it a lot with, I know a lot of the guys that are looking for a 30 weight and yeah. try to run our 40, but even in, in putting the diesel in there, unless you're catless, you're right. going to clog it up. So um, yeah, stay tuned on that. They're, they got an R&D right now. Uh, Colton says, had a slight tick before. They hooked me up with a bottle of Extreme, and it did a little better, but it didn't solve the issue. I'll try and get those to see exactly what is going on. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Let us know. Skyler says, about to make the switch to y'all product. I still am not too sure on not running an anti-gel. Well, you want to run an anti-gel. Right, absolutely. Skyler, let us know where you're located at, but if you're in a cold climate... This time of year, we, we definitely like to switch over. It's actually before this time of year. Yeah, normally October 1st, you want to be switched over to an anti-gel. As quick as this cold came in? Yeah. I, this... You know it surprised some people. Yeah. So um, we switched from our EDT, our everyday diesel treatment, to our diesel winter anti-gel, which has the same components in it. We still get, get all the benefits of the EDT, but we add the anti-gel in there. So if you're in a colder climate, I think you should definitely check it out. Absolutely. Looks like Levi's got the YouTube posted there. Sean's laughing at a 6-0. Man, Sean, don't have a 6-0. I'd six own a 6-0, six, 7-3 six, oh, in a heartbeat. I would rock the heck out of a 7-3 yeah. Expedition in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Just make sure I got a lot of sticks in the lemonade with me. Right. Uh, Beard Max says, yes, I would change all fluids and runner like original stroker. This truck would be a mini stroker. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go yeah, for it, you man. Go. You're good then. Can I run your fuel and oil products in my John Deere 25 horsepower diesel? Yeah, absolutely. Amen. You can you can use it on anything um, that's diesel. Just make sure you follow the dosage on the side of the bottle, and you'll be good to go. No problem at all. The, the John Deere's out there, the, the gas. You know, you can use our oil side yeah, stuff for you. And the gasoline stream. We got the gasoline stream. Our LX4, our newest product, our lubricity product, is good for gas or diesel. And they're really great on the uh, agriculture with farm equipment right. and everything like that. So, absolutely. Bill Lacey, another top fan badge out there. Can I get the France oil bypass system for a 6.7 Cummins engine with a magnetic filter base? Yes, you can. All right? Yeah. I don't know if we have, do we have the hoses ready for the 6.7? I think that... I think... Beard of Medic asked me this every single time. Yeah, I, th I think that Brett said they were about a month away or something because they were trying to figure out a... They're not the same as the 6.0 hoses, I guess. We have to cut them the link. Right. Because so they're not really adjustable. We used to give you these rubber hoses so you could yeah, just kind of we, cut Yeah, and we were out here constantly pulling out and then cutting it. And Well, now they're these nice stainless steel yeah. braided hoses, but because of that, we have professional crimped ends on them. Um, so we're getting cut to, cut to go. So, Bill, if it's not ready, it's darn close. The magnetic filter bases are ready. Um, it just comes down to the length of hoses there. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So, Skyler says he's in Washington State. I currently run house. So, run the anti-gel over the EDT for wintertime. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. The, and we've been getting a lot of questions about this ever since the Project Farm video that Levi's showing you. The diesel winter anti-gel is the EDT with the winter anti-gel in it. So, once it becomes October 1st, you're going to move over to the diesel winter anti-gel until you get to about April 1st. Then you'll run the EDT again instead of the diesel winter anti-gel. So, Correct. Yeah, get it in as soon as possible, because I, I don't know how cold it is there, but we were at four degrees oh, yesterday, it's kind of cold so Washington State. Yeah. it was. And Andrew followed it up saying, "Should I run anti gel with EDT in twenty to thirty degree temps?" You you wouldn't need to do that. You don't need to. And and I, I think Levi showed you some of this this Project Farm video that came out. You guys really should check it out. Where, if I love this Project Farm guy, he is awesome. He, I watch a lot of his videos. Yeah. He does crazy comparisons. And so you know, he'll tell you right now, we've tried to contact him <laughs> just just because we wanted to get our stuff tested by him, you know, and, and but he will not talk to a manufacturer. No, he, he, he actually, if I'm, on one of his videos, I had commented and asked him about trying Hot Shot Secret, and he had wrote me and said, unless more people want to yeah. want to see a review of it, I won't do it. And yep. he, then when we tried to say, can we send you a bottle, he's like, no, nope. I will not. I'm buying it. Yeah, he because buys he, off the shelf he, himself. He doesn't want to have any bias opinion right. by... Being and he waits until there's a big enough demand for it too. So thanks to all our fans out there, yeah, obviously absolutely. told him they re that he really needs to test this hotshot stuff um, because he finally did. And I, a few, I remember some. So I got a Facebook message from somebody saying, "Did you guys see this?" Yeah, and we didn't even know it was coming. 
and uh, we should have taken a picture of yeah, we should of, of our shipping department. Should have. You would not believe our shipping department right now. It's just all these old winter NHL, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of what, bottles. And if and if I'm not mistaken, when I was talking to the shipping manager, she said like last week on these shipping winter manager NHL, or Ashley, or Ashley, when, uh, which, whichever one call her. <laughs> but she said like last week on Diesel Winter and I Joe there was like 126 cases or something that went out, and then like this week it was like 400 and something. Yeah. So it there was a there was there's pretty big, pretty big different now. I'm not going to throw in thousands or anything. But yeah. It, we it, it was we nice. have had substantial amount of calls coming in of people who use Howls or Power Service and and just so everybody knows, people were kind of dogging him on using 911 as an anti gel. We get questions all the time because people use it as an anti-gel. Absolutely. And we understand that it's not supposed to be, but people do use it as an anti-gel. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely, if you check out the video, you'll see. I mean, it, it's good. I think somebody just asked about Howes. Yeah, that oh, was yeah, super. Runs yeah. Howes was in, the, in, the, in yeah. the test. And a lot of those guys were surprised because these big rig truckers are seeing that they're not getting lubricity at all. It's Well, and I will say this. When you watch the video... And he does a really good job testing everything in, in unique, different ways. But um, a lot of those products, and and we, we can talk about it, this is our basically our EDT with the anti-gel in it. So you're getting, not only were we first in a lot of, you know, the way he tested, we have more stuff in there that wasn't even the test. Like, you're going to get a fuel stabilizer out of it, a moisture dispersant, a rust and corrosion right. inhibitor, all this extra benefit, and still in that little shot that you're putting in, right. you know. And a lot of the competition we were compared to were kind of, uh, I don't want to call them like one trick ponies, but I just did. So they kind of go after like, let's say they're just an anti-gel product. Well, <coughs> we beat the anti-gel properties and give you everything else too. Well, and there was an outcry from a lot of people who wanted a certain product who we just got testing against. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted him to redo it and put it against our diesel winter anti-gel. I actually had somebody comment. Yeah, he's open yeah. To it, so, so. Some people even um, commented to me and said, "Hey, this is who I use." And which, like I said, people make good products, but we're constantly doing R and D to make sure we have the best products. And out we won't there. stop. We'll always, yeah, we'll always, always be doing it if we need, and we're always kind of looking at it. So, and I hope he does another video and then brings absolutely. The other guys in. It's kind of like I was just saying about the the TV thing we did. Like we're not scared, right? Just yeah, no. It. Like <laughs> put up. I know a lot of you guys that watch us are already users of our products, so I hope a lot of people out there that are that watch us are maybe interested. We just had somebody saying they're thinking about switching over to us. So we talk about the science. We put our science out all the time. You can put all the data, third-party data in the world out there, and then all of a sudden it takes one other guy in a different video <laughs> somewhere, they're like, oh, my gosh, this stuff really works. Right. It's like, we've been telling you. Yeah. You know, so uh, let him know. Yeah, absolutely. He'll, like you said, once you get enough you know, requests, he'll do another video. So, um yeah, and I mean, I mean, that's what, when we talk about we will constantly make sure that we're the best out there, we're not going to give you a 12-year-old test that was done and say, oh, yeah, it's the best test, we're the best, we're number one, and expect there never to be a change. There's coming change, we're going to change it, so, and he's probably watching, I don't care, so. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Troy Kennedy says, since we broached the subject of sliding type lubricants, for RVs and such, can we revisit an exterior wax additive for exterior vehicle care? Written for Kyle to translate, of course. Are you talking about a car care product? Because if so, I'm told no way. Yeah, they do no. not want to get into it. Like I, no. there's a story of one day that that Chris walked in on Kevin and he had a bunch of waxes on his desk. <laughs> um, Was it Jax wax? No, but I'll give a shout out to Jax wax. If you, you know, Troy, if you're looking for a good car care product, I am not scared to plug Jack's Wax. They work closely with us. Yeah. Uh, they actually are here in Ohio. We just helped them out with their bottling line. They have a very similar bottling line. Uh, shout out to my man, Todd Isaac. I know he sponsors a lot of uh, a lot of our racers and to keep their trucks looking good. We make them run good, and uh, Jack's Wax makes them look good. So check out Jack's Wax products. They're a great company and a local company, good, good to deal with. David Robinson will be in touch soon with my first oil analysis using Blue Diamond 5W40. About to roll over 15,000 on this oil. We'll be changing the oil filter and topping off and trying another 15 if the oil sample comes back good. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right. We love it, David. Let us know how it goes. This is exactly what that oil is made for. Um, did you see you got a bypass filter on there? No, he didn't. So, Wow, so he's just going straight out with the regular yeah. spin-on filter. All right. Which well, PAO oil? He's... <laughs> 
The oil is going to be fine. Yeah, I, yeah the PAO, yeah. It's, gonna, it, it's not going to be out of spec. The only question is how dirty do we get it? Well, and he may be able to just put in some TBN booster and right. he'll be good to go for another 15. Right. So. It'll, it'll really come down to, they'll look at your silica content. Uh, you'll get a full analysis, and we'll call you. We'll yep. go over the, the analysis with you and, and see where you're at. So keep us posted, David. Let us know when you get that uh, sample result back, and we'll, we'll go over it with you. All right, so if you're running NHL, you don't need to run the EDT, correct? The right. ET, the NIGL already has everything in it. I guess it was more in it. Should I run anti gel at those temps? Yes, at 20 to 30 degrees, I believe is what you said. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, once, once you dip below freezing, you never know when you're going to get a really spike. I think we go down, fuel line freeze ups down to negative 40. Our pour point is down to negative 65. So right. we've got some extreme coverage for you there. But depending on the makeup of the fuel, like we've talked about before, pump to pump it's different. Yeah. But you can have some fuel that will gel up at 25. Like, well, I mean, and we're hearing, crazy. we're hearing it more and more. People think that in the northern states they already treat the diesel fuel with uh, winter anti-gel. And that's depending on if the distributor actually wants to. They don't have to treat it. Uh, so you, by you adding a diesel winter anti-gel, you're making sure that you aren't having that issue of gelling up. I mean, if you're coming from the West Coast into the East Coast, you might as well get an anti-gel in because it's pretty cold over here. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, check out that farm video. Absolutely. You guys want to check it out. We, we really appreciate that guy doing that. Um, and I love all the products and use them. All my 6-0. Just wanted to hear from these guys. Thanks, man. Yep. Yeah, Jack Swax. You found it, Troy. That's it. So... A lot of questions. Keep them on if you want. Let's do a little bit of coverage on the D Wag. Absolutely. D Wag. Yeah, D Wag. That's Anna what we call it around here. Is D Wag. In house. So if, if you ever call in, you hear us say D Wag. That's what we yeah. mean. Diesel winter anti gel. So, like we just said, there's it prevents gelling and icing. Right. We want to put it in there earlier in the season because you, you want to start running it through your fuel system, get it into the fuel filter, all that. You don't want to be surprised. Right. Um, but now we're in season. So if you haven't switched by now. Switch and if you do gel up, we do have diesel winter rescue that is we not rescue. does not have alcohol in it, no just so everybody knows. But time to put your EDT on the shelf. Come back to it in the springtime. It's good. We got a shelf life of many years, so save your EDT for the springtime. Switch over now. Uh, like I just said, it lowers the pour point to 65 degrees, it's negative 65, reduces fuel line freeze ups down to negative 40. And again, one of the one of the things is it's a fully formulated product. So while it's intended for these winter months, and like uh, the Project Farm video shows, it does its job with all the winter tests, that's not it. it, it you still are going to get the benefits of right. the EDT, which there are six great benefits of that. And now this is a, let's call this a seven in one. You, and I think last year we even actually talked about possibly putting seven in one in that, if let's, I'm not mistaken. Let's see you name all the great benefits. So you got you the rust inhibitor, the cetane well, booster. Slow down, tell oh, okay, down. okay. You got the rust inhibitor. You got the cetane booster. You got the water dispersant. You have the lubricity. Wow. Did I say water dispersant? You right. did. I did. So wait. Uh, I already said rust and you did. inhibitor. Let me think. I don't remember what you There's a fuel stabilizer Fuel stabilizer's in there, correct. It's an anti gel in there. Anti gel. And then, oh my goodness. I don't, I should have wrote them all down. Injector cleaner. Yeah, injector cleaner. Should have so, wrote them all down because I was starting So to we're doing all that. So, so just if you're, if you're a fan of our products and, and, and you're, you're using the EDT regularly, so you're keeping your fuel system clean. And remember, we're treating on the fuel side of these diesels, we're treating both the vehicle right. and the fuel you're putting in it. So we are trying to bring the cetane level up uh, of the fuel. The low, ultra low sulfur diesel that we're getting it's so dry we are adding lubricity to that fuel which is also protecting your fuel system um that's not going to change when you switch over to the anti-gel the only difference is we add the anti-gel component and, and a lot of people have been asking this question this week the reason that the diesel winter anti-gel 16 ounces only treats 125 gallons is because in the edt treats 400 gallons 16 ounce is because of the winter anti-gel right. being in there that is why why it changes so drastically because of that winter anti gel. Yeah, that's that's uh, what's the what do we call it? It's one ounce to eight gallons. Right. So think of it. One, I know EDT is one ounce to twenty five gallons. Right. So let's do the math there. This is about three ounces to twenty four gallons. 
Well, think of it. You got about two ounces of anti gel in there. Yeah. So, so you're still going to get your one ounce of EDT in there, but you're going to also have two ounces of uh, anti gel. So you do need more of the product. Absolutely. You know. So. Uh, I mean, it's it, that is a thirteen ninety five dollar. It's thirteen dollars and ninety five cents. Yep. But it's saving you possibly thousands of dollars. Well, that's the other thing we're talking about is, is some of the comparisons to other anti gels out there. Right. They're putting it into a preventative so they don't have freeze ups. Right. But there's no payback other than you don't freeze. Right. With this, you still are going to get all the advantage you get out of ET, which you know can pay for itself in mile per gallon savings. So you don't have to give up the mile per gallon. So some of the questions we had earlier about do I still need to put EDT in and stuff, you don't have to because we already have it in there. Absolutely. And that was one of the things Sean, the bearded medic, had called in this morning, and he he didn't know that winter anti-gel had the lubricity in it because he said he wanted to protect his fuel pump and everything, which it does, like we said. Uh, so he had added three, uh, four ounces of LX4. So let's let's talk okay. a little bit about that because everybody's been asking, do we put LX4 in with the diesel winter anti-gel since the LX4 is now in the EDT? We have done R&D with it. You actually would not want to do that. You don't. Uh, as far as Sean is concerned, Kevin is going to get back to us about how much he put in compared to the diesel winter anti-gel and fuel mixture that he had to see exactly what, if, if it, but from what testing is showing is that the LX4 actually will cause the winter anti-gel to, to counteract it and gum it well, up. Well, it always had, lubricity always will. And so, and here's the, here's the other challenge that we have. This is how good this product is. The fact that we can kick all that butt in the winter side testing of it, yet we still have a lubricity agent in it. Right. And the lubricity agents naturally are, are counterproductive towards an anti-gel. Yeah. So those, and that's why we, we do have LX4 as a standalone product. We are putting LX4 virtually it's probably going to end up in all of our fuel additives yeah except for the diesel winter this one. and the reason being we can put it in our edt it's coming now right. uh, it's already it's already yeah, the beginning of this month is when they started yeah so pretty in. much all the new edt coming out has lx4 already yeah. in it now some guys want to add a little more lx4 that's fine if you want that extra lubricity protective if you want to add some more to your diesel extreme that's fine if you want to add some to your gasoline extreme you can put it in a gas I, car i actually i actually ran the gasoline extreme i did about half of the bottle with lx4 and it actually you know my truck it's got the the code oh, you know <laughs> but uh the, it actually runs a lot smoother i'm yeah. very surprised i like it yeah i clean up my marshmallow too <laughs> the uh uh the point i was making is that if you the lx4 is really designed for that extra protection yeah. i know a lot of the guys at the cp4 you know failures and all that stuff they're really worried about it We've always had, we have a, C, a CP4 yeah, we truck. Do. I mean, everybody that's seen the Hot Shots truck, we've had for years, and yeah. we beat the heck out of it. And we're, it is a workhorse. We're at 170,000 miles. We've and never, never had, had an, issue. an issue with that, and that's because it constantly gets a, a, a EDT. Yeah. It lives off of I don't think it's ever had a fuel tank without EDT in right. it. Right. So there's enough lubricity in EDT to really kind of cover your butt, especially if you use it regularly. LX4 is really going to give you that extra protection over the top. The only time we don't want you to use it is is with our diesel winter anti gel right and where it will it'll be probably our only, only fuel product that won't get it infused into and it's for that reason lubricity is just the kryptonite to anti gel that all being said we do have lubricity in this product just like we have the edt right so uh, it's two different two different mixtures it's two different types because, of lubricity added right too. right because and, that, the, and we do know that even with that additive in there it theoretically is combating the, the properties of the NIGEL a little bit, and the NIGEL still kicks that much more. Right. So. Absolutely. Mic drop. Good product. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a mic. I have a little mic here. So yeah, drop it. <laughs> drop this. All right. So let's see what we got. Running ET year round. No putting it on the shelf here. Well, lucky you. Uh, been a while. Hello. Mark Cowles has been a while. How you doing, Mark? Troy Kennedy, what you got for gasoline fuel treatment? We're getting water contamination in pumps recently. Written for Kyle because his mom's watching. Man, Troy's wow. talking about my mama now. That's trouble, man. Wow. That's them fighting words. Them are fighting <laughs> words, Troy. So what you got for gasoline fuel treatment? Well, 
if you're getting water contamination in the pumps, I don't know if the uh, gasoline, gasoline stream is going to help. Now, I, I did not say this publicly on a live Facebook feed or anything like this, but uh, I was just talking to a gentleman yesterday who's a dealer of ours who has religiously been putting diesel extreme in gasoline vehicles. Yeah. And I was like, what? But he's finding, you know, he's finding a lot of Don't do it. Don't we're, do it. We're telling you, don't do it. We do have some products for uh, for the gasoline side yeah, get, uh, under some of some different labels that can uh, be your moisture dispersants, draw some of the water out of that. There's other ways to do it, so. Cetane and octane don't mix. They There's don't a reason mix. that they're called two different things. They are opposites, but. so. Uh, we don't have a gasoline fuel treatment for the water problem you're having, Troy, under the Hot Shots label. But give us a call. We have some products that can help you out. 41 degrees. Hopefully it stays running. All right, Colton, keep us posted. Should I run a tank of fuel with diesel extreme and then start on the winter anti-gel or just do a straight switch? If you've got warm enough climate right that now, you're gonna use get the diesel extreme in Yeah, there. that you'll use the fuel quick enough to be able to... I mean, or, yeah. yeah. I, Throw a little energy on top of your diesel yeah. stream. <laughs> Why not? It's not going to hurt anything. You could. Two ounces of it or something. Yeah. yeah. You'd be good. Yeah. We do like to do that initial clean out first. So um, if you can get away with it, it's not freezing, I would go with some diesel extreme. Uh, you might want to spike a little energy on there just to be safe. 463000 on my Duramax. Everything original. Thanks wow. to all your products and bypass filter. Mark Cowles. I remember that name. Yeah. That's the full treatment right there. there bypass filter running all hot shots. Almost at a half a million. Let's throw a party when you're in a half a million, Mark. Let us know. Mary Pollock's watching. You think that's Don? Yeah, it's probably Don. It's probably Don. <laughs> hey, Don. We know. Diesel Don. I know Don. Uh, Shane Johnson <laughs> back here. 183,000 miles on your baby. That's just a baby after hearing 460. On a 6.7 coming. Gets EDT every tank. Runs like a top because you guys make an outstanding product. Well, thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks for using it. Keith Mensing says, Gasoline Extreme eliminated the clicking of my engine after starting in cold weather. Interesting. Yeah. We're hearing that a lot. A lot of like, it's almost like lifter tick, and then some people say it's the, uh, their injectors are ticking. Right. And it quiets them down as well. Yeah, we keep hearing new and new stuff about the Gasoline Extreme because a lot of our other products have been on the market for a while, but it's funny when we put out a new product and there's some unintended benefits of it that we keep hearing right really. At first you hear one or two, and you're like, eh. And then you hear it constantly. My ticking's going, yeah. my ticking's going away. So. There's something to it. Uh, why don't you dig through and pick out a couple winners here because we're about to wrap up. Need to get some gas extreme for the wife's Tahoe. 140,000 miles and hasn't been treated yet. Could use a good cleaning. Yeah, I've got a Tahoe with 120,000 miles on it and it really enjoyed its drink of gas extreme. I'm actually probably due for about another one because we recommend doing that every, every 10,000 miles or so. And um, looks like we're all caught up there. So, just to cover on the, the diesel winter anti gel again, tis the season, now's the time. Uh, we got a bundle deal um, going online if you want to buy, I think it's a four pack or five pack, something like that. And of course, it's not carried in all of our retailers. I think a few of them carry it, so it's a lot, little harder to find in a retail source. A lot of our uh, independent dealers do carry it. So if you want to go to our website, you can click on uh, find a store. I think it's called find a store. Find a, where to, where to buy, find a store. Where to buy? Where to buy. You click on where to buy and you can punch in your zip code and you can find out all the local retailers as well as all the local independent uh, shops out there that carry it. Um, thanks, kind of like our wall that we're going to be added. Uh, Rudy's and Power Stroke Ingenuities and Firepunk. There's a lot of guys up there out there that carry our products. So. Punch in your zip code. You might have a local dealer right around the corner from you didn't know about, and they have access to our full line of products, unlike some of the retailers. You know, right. they have a very limited supply. And specifically for winter anti-gel, you're either going to need to go to our website, find an independent dealer. I think a couple of the retailers do stock it. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Tractor Supply stocks it. Uh, and I think that might be the only one, actually, Tractor Supply. And maybe Royal King. Yeah. Maybe Royal King. I'm yeah, not, we'll double check sure. on that. But, uh, so did you get some winners? Yeah. So uh, Are they Titus, cool climates? I, I hope so. Titus <laughs> Martin, uh, Skyler, and April Brown, since he said he was using house, we'll go ahead and send him a bottle. Uh, Colton, and then we will have Matt Goodrich. All right. So we'll be sending you out, if you can, message Matt our Matt Goodrich. Was it Matt Matty Goodrich? Matt. I think he's in the south. That's the, 
That's our buddy who did the test on our uh, ceramic transmission for Oh, okay. So if you are in the south, or if you're not in a cold climate, uh, when you Let send us a message, we'll send you some EDT. Yep. We'll keep it warm for you. If you're in a, in a cold, what are the names again? It was Titus Martin, Skyler and April Brown, Colton Henninger, and Matt Goodrich. All right. So if your name was picked, give us a message on Facebook, and we will get send you your address. Let us know if you're in hot or cold. We'll get you out some product and keep you... Keep you unfrozen or keep you going good if you're in a hot climate. Absolutely. And until next week, let's see. So next week, I think we're all going to be here. We're a few weeks away from PRI. We've and, been doing... Well, and we'll probably, not next week, but the following week is Thanksgiving. So we'll probably move the show to a Wednesday. If oh, I'm we not. probably will have a rescheduled time for that. Right. So um, we'll... we're not going live from your Thanksgiving dinner table? No, absolutely not. Because oh, come on. That'd I... be awesome. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Add some FR3 to my turkey. <laughs> there you go. So check for some, some programming changes, you know, ahead in the next couple of weeks here. And then right. right after that, we do have PRI. Right. Which we're working overtime on PRI right now. Um, we're looking forward to it. We are going to have two new vehicles in our PRI booth. Who we'll, are they? Who, who are the vehicles going to be in PRI? Not going to tell yet. No, I'm not going to tell. Yeah, there we go. We've got two <laughs> awesome vehicles in our booth this year and i will say we have at least at least 20 different people signing autographs in our booth over three days so more than we've ever had before um and in the coming weeks we'll slowly look at that information of whose vehicles will be in the booth and who will be there signing autographs but uh it's uh it's it's really cool so and by the way any of our dealers out there if you still need tickets to pri let us know we can get you hooked up there and a reminder our wall of fame or that's one last thing. We need a name for this wall. What are we going to call it? The Garage of Fame? The, the Door of Dealers? Something. Let us know if you have a good idea for what we call the name. And all our dealers out there, shoot us a decal. We'll put you up on the door there. And hopefully we'll have it filled up with all our partners in the industry. Absolutely. Cool. Until next week. Big Country out.